were heading to his aunt's house to see his grandma that came from Mexico and he hadn't seen her for almost like 10 years and everything was fine we got there we we spent a we spent a couple hours there on our way back like a normal drive we got on the highway and we probably drove maybe I would say once getting on the highway on on Damon on Stevenson after maybe three blocks I would say we we I heard like a like, like something exploded at first I thought it was a, a wheel and when I turn around my baby sitting on her car seat and I look at at the window and it was shattered <laughs> and then I'm like okay she's okay <laughs> then when I look he's he's scream he's screaming telling my oldest to to bend down like so my daughter grabbed her little sister off the car seat and covered her and I thought we were okay <laughs> until I, <laughs> I noticed that he lost control because the car started going to the right and <laughs> you know the what's it called the the cement you know the the, the cliff barrier. whatever the barrier if it wasn't that I noticed we would have flipped and I was able to like get the wheel and control it put it in parking and then when I turned around and I checked him he wasn't breathing anymore he was he was dead already I called the ambulance <laughs> but it was too late <laughs> my baby's three the oldest 11 and I'm I'm pregnant <laughs> with another one on the way <laughs> and, 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 tell me your husband's name. he didn't deserve this he's a very hard working man he was always working <laughs> No, I, I don't have a job because I didn't work. <laughs> I just, he didn't deserve this. Now. Honey, what did he do for a living? Him, he had a business of hardware flooring. And, um, What's the business called? Umberto Marin's hardware flooring. And, and so he worked every day? He family. worked every day, yes. Tell us a little bit about what happened. You said you were on your phone. I was on my phone. I wasn't seated. Thank God I wasn't seated with the seatbelt or else I would have got shot too. I was on the phone talking to the aunt. Um, she said it would work good um, because before getting off her house, um, he couldn't find his wallet. So he thought he, he had dropped it. Then he realized he left it in the car. So, you didn't see the shooter no, no, no. I was on the phone talking to her, so I didn't realize until he screamed and, and told my daughter to, like, cover, to take cover and, like, to bend, and it happened off so fast. And there was no road rage leading up to No, him, no, nobody, no. There was no nothing. When you think about who did this, what, what's your message? You know, this is happening every day, you know, to in and especially to innocent people that don't deserve it, like my husband. You know, those people are just... <laughs>